Okay, now in this video, uh, in a continuation of what we've been doing in the previous videos, um, we are going to explain or show how two lines um, are parallel in three dimensions and how you can spot this, okay, without actually having to do much calculation. Um, now, we have the three situations. We have intersecting lines, skew lines, and parallel lines. Okay, now parallel lines in two dimensions, we should rec or remember that two lines in sorry, in two lines in two dimensions will have the same gradient. Okay, so for example, y equals 3x plus 9 and y equals 3x minus 7 are parallel in two dimensions because they both have the same gradient 3. Okay. Now, there is a similar case for this in three dimensions. So, remember that for a, line, a vector equation of a line, that we have a position vector and a direction vector. Okay, so position... And direction. Now, in both of these cases, we identified that both of the lines are parallel because we're looking at the gradient. And it doesn't matter what number I put here um, to say what number the uh, line goes through the y axis. Okay? That doesn't matter. What matters is the gradient or the direction rather, okay? So in these cases, the position of the line and the position vector does not matter. It is the direction vector that is of interest to us. So when looking at these, the direction vectors aren't the same, okay? If they were the same, then yes, perfect. Uh, the two lines must therefore be parallel because the direction vectors are exactly the same. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, these cannot be parallel. And what I mean by that is that the direction vector has this multiplier at the front, okay, which allows you to really. Um, simplify a vector down like a fraction. So 6, 9, minus 15 can effectively be simplified, okay, or you can take a factor out of it so that we have 3 lots of 2, 3, minus 5. So in actual fact, 6, 9, minus 15 is going in the same direction as 2, 3, minus 5, only it's longer. Okay, So it's a vector that is longer, but is going in the same direction. So, so it'd be, it would be like this line and this line, for example. Okay, So these two lines are both parallel, but yeah, they're not of the same length. Okay, but they're, they're still parallel. So that means because I can write 6, 9, minus 15 is equal to 3 lots of the other direction vector, this means that L1 and L2 are parallel. If there is no way of writing this, okay, of doing one is a multiple of the other, then that means that they, the two lines either intersect or they are skew lines, okay? And then we can go back to the two videos that we have previously in this series, okay? So that is how you can show whether two lines are parallel and how you can identify it.